Thank you very much to everybody for tuning in and joining us. Uh, we are not quite in Sale. We are, uh, well, in the west of London, but this is where Northern Rugby matters this afternoon. Sale Sharks against Gloucester Hartbury in the Allianz Premier 15s. The run-in continues as we look forward to what continues to be a barnstorming end to this season. There may be the men's big dance going on a couple of miles down the road from this one this afternoon. Of course, that is the reason that we're here. Brilliant work from both clubs, Gloucester Hartbury and South Sharks, to have had a powwow during the week, been able to get this together so that they can come down and that the women's side can play early and all the players can go across and cheer on the men in that men's premiership final this afternoon. Solid defence, but it's still go forward ball as Venna joins the line and then Tui Pilotu well tackled and the defensive effort gets the cheer from the Sale Sharks replacements in the stands just down below us, but they've already got them short of numbers here. They will be going into the corner and it will be Ellie Rugman to open the scoring for Gloucester Hartbury and they've made it look that easy. And in less than two minutes, I was speaking to Claire before the game about what Gloucester bring. And one of the things I said was they get it to their wingers. They get it really early on. And Rugman has scored a ridiculous uh, amount of tries before this. And less than two minutes on the clock. Etty hung it out. Brought into play a couple of times. The USA Eagle, 22 years of age. Oh, and now they're still going here. And Sale Sharks on the break with Georgie Perris Redding, who's just trying to find the support line. But oh, it's superb in an outplay. Rugman trying to get the tackle in, but it will be the try. Well, well, well. Belief in spades from Sale Sharks. And they're doing their best to make this place into a home stand they weren't going to hang around Holly Thorpe said if you're not going to take it then I will and they're looking to offload again it's Tunacy speaking of Rachel Taylor during the week she says that Tunacy plays in such a way recognizing chances to make offloads it's just inspiring others to believe and understand when it might be possible and this might be possible it's Delaney still going Delaney for sale sharks it's their second Amazing was that the whole crowd are on their feet, they're cheering across, but that the I feel like there's a change in expectation. Sale have the ball, they are in control. That cross field was always on, you could see it, and then the chase and belief on it and the finish from Delaney. Now it's shipped on Steph Else. <laughs> Tui Pilotti, Jones on for Beckett. Beckett for the line. Sarah Beckett scores. Beckett's so difficult to stop from those kind of uh, uh, areas there and that hard line running, it just felt inevitable that that was going to be a score. Thank you very much. They're managing to escape it as well. Still playing Got the foot advantage. out of the bear trap and then it's over the top on the outside. They're trying to find the support lines. Gloucester Harpery going in at the corner and it is the try. Neumann is it? working so hard to find those wider channels Mo! down it comes the work of else Again, go forward they're almost just driving it a single Mari grieve for a moment there lost to Hartpree looking for the try line oh and they're just gonna get right round the back making it look as easy as that the weapon of the forwards once they got going and South Sharks were just so splintered in terms of trying to defend it set now it's in Gloucester Harbury get the shove really strong once again Stay Beckett there, controlling line. Beckett ready to score it this time and she does Sarah Beckett with her second of the match doing what any good number eight should and it's the first score of the second half to the visitors not to put under pressure when you've got a side that's um, so confident around that set piece area as Gloucester are oh! Connie Powell really keen to get her hands on that ball to get that line out going she might also want to have the ball under her hands at the back here if they've got no, a chance of getting down over the line Powell is the one at the back. 
just stopped at the crucial moment when it needed to get there, but down they go. Try scored. It's another one for Gloucester Hartbury. It's another one for Connie Powell. Let it come, Ryan. Hold nine, hold. Oh, a little Good. dink across the middle, but that's not quite going to work. And all it's going to allow is Rugman to come straight into space and then to set sail. <laughs> it's a super try. Yeah, lovely, lovely pace onto it's that ball. At least annoying well. with my apologies. Yeah, no Neumann does so well, good gas as well, and pace onto, onto the ball. Right. Been outstanding this season. You're coming up. Free kick, Beckett with the quick tap. The line at her mercy. Hat-trick time for Sarah Beckett. And a smile on the face of Cat Merchant who says, there we go, really worth the player of the match nod now. Yeah, exactly. That makes up for me making up a yellow card. I picked the player well. Uh, it's always nice when you pick a player and then they go and do something like that as well. Overthrow. Will be tidied up. Tunesi couldn't hold it. Has it's it just, just gone, gone forwards? forwards? Yes, it has. And that will be the last moment of the match. Referee blows the final whistle. Gloucester Hartbury have found their feet in Richmond after a first half where South Sharks gave them a real fright. But it's a result that will see them finish top of the table for the regular season. A fantastic achievement for everyone in Cherry and White, for Sean Lynn, the coaching staff and everybody involved down at Gloucester Hartbury.